everyone, welcome back to Pumpkin Week here on Drinks with Jenny. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying Pumpkin from Southern Tier. And this is an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It says it's pumpkin pie in a glass. So I'm excited to try this one. Um, out of all of them that I picked up, um, this one sounded really good. It is 8.6% ABV, so I believe that this is the strongest pumpkin beer that I have tried. Um, or will try and yeah I really like the bottle um yeah okay so let me give it open and I believe I paid like four dollars and 36 cents I bought this one a long time ago okay oh for once it didn't fly across the table okay let's see what a quick smell ooh it smells good. Now you're picking up on those spices. Mm, should be good. Let's give it a pour. I'm loving the color. It's really good combination. It's kind of like a golden orange color. And not much head at all. It's quickly disappearing. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, this smells really good. It smells like fall. I'm really picking up on the cinnamon in this one. Ooh. Out of the amount of all the pumpkin beers, I like this one the best. Mm. It just smells warm and cozy. Okay, let me give it a taste. That's good. Um, it definitely does taste like pumpkin pie for sure. Oh, this. I'm picking up and I can't, I'm, I'm a little tired at the moment I'm recording this video, but I'm, there's, there's a spice that I'm picking up and I think it's a little too overpowering. Like, I know what it is, but I don't, I can't. Oh. Okay, let me give it another taste. I just can't put the name to the spice. What is too heavy handed in here? Where it's not like the other, like the Griffin Claw Screaming Pumpkin, where it was just heavy handed on the spices. This is just too much of something going on. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. It tastes like. It reminds me of something like um, oh, like a fall candle, that smell, but also that taste in my mouth. Not that I've tasted fall candles before, but the smell of that. Oh, what is in it? It's really bothering me. Also, I'm, I'm just really tired today, so I don't know if it's, that has anything to do with this, but... Oh, it just tastes like I'm drinking like fall perfume. And I don't know what it is. I don't know why. Oh, mm mm. No. My gosh. Oh. Like, I don't want to be like negative in this review either because I actually know that this one is a popular um, pumpkin beer, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this taste. I don't know. It just reminds me of drinking perfume, which sounds horrible. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, I thought it was going to be good. 
Um, I actually thought it was going to be one of the best ones of the week. But this is... No, this is not for me. Whatever the spice is going on in here, and I just cannot pick out which one is causing it to taste like perfume. Mmm. Yeah. I mean... Oh, no. I can't do it. <laughs> I cannot do it. Um, yeah. I don't think this is my best review either, but I just don't... I don't know what else to say about this spice situation going on. Um, yeah. Yeah, this one is... Yeah, not, not my favorite pumpkin beer that I've had this week. So... Well, I think that's going to wrap up this video because I'm not sure what else to say. Um, maybe I'll continue to try and drink this as the beer warms up a little bit and see if I can figure out the spice and what I'm not liking in this beer. But, as always, thanks for watching this episode of Drinks with Jenny. Cheers! Oh! No. This is disappointing. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I had some time to think about it. And you know what I think it is? I think it's too fake on something. Like, it's just... Like, because it does say that on here it has natural flavor added and I think those natural flavors are not very natural and they're way too fake and I think that's what I'm not liking like I want to say it's like there's vanilla added to this and the vanilla is not real vanilla it's like a natural flavoring adding which I cannot stand only like pure vanilla but I think that vanilla with the combination of like the too much cloves and allspice for me is what is creating this um, taste that I'm not liking. Um, it just doesn't taste as, um, how would you say it, like real to me. It tastes a little too fake. And I think that's why I'm picking up on like the perfume levels in this beer um, and why I think it kind of tastes fake. Um, yeah, this is my conclusion. I think it's just that combination, too much vanilla with the spices and then maybe some fake natural flavors added to it um, is why I'm not liking this beer. Yeah, it's, I mean, maybe this beer will appeal to some people's palate, but this one is not for me. Um, no, no matter it warms up, it's not getting any better. So, I think that's what it is, that I'm just too much of, like, the vanilla and too much of cloves and allspice is my guess on what I'm not really liking the taste of this pumpkin beer. So, those are my additional thoughts for pumpkin from Southern Tier. Bye! <laughs>